Theory to practice. It's really not as boring as it sounds, I promise. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Lupa. I am the Executive Director of the Canadian Mothercraft Society, a multi-service, multi-site charity based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We uh, take a theoretical framework approach to our work. And what that means is that everything we do is rooted in evidence and research. We look to academics, we look to best practices, and we look to leaders in the early childhood sector to tell us what they're learning about neurodevelopment, about child development, about social emotional development, and how we can embed that in our practice on a day-to-day -day with the children, families, and students that we get to work with. And that framework over the years has evolved into focusing on really three main theories, attachment theory, relational theory, and developmental theory. Attachment theory is really about the important relationship between a young child and a caring, responsive adult. That could be their parent, that could be their caregiver, that could be their teacher. And what it allows for is when the child is experiencing something in the world, they can reach out to that individual, know that their needs will be met, and then feel safe and secure about exploring their world. And that allows them to really develop and learn and grow in optimal ways. Developmental theory uh, really is focused on what we would expect expect through a child's trajectory uh, in learning and growth, and that we're watching for milestones and we're responding and reacting in appropriate ways to ensure that that gets optimized for the child as they go through the journey of childhood. Relational theory really requires us to think about the systems, the structures, the policies, procedures that wrap around all of us, but especially children in this instance, and, we, and to ensure that there is an integrated, responsive, and appropriate as they can be. And so what all of that means is that when we think about attachment, when we think about development, and when we think about relational theories, we're focused on the child, what is going to optimize opportunities for them to learn, what is gonna optimize their ability to understand the world around them, and how are they going to grow into the robust, wonderful, healthy human beings that we want them to become. And so we work with parents, we work with caregivers, we work with colleagues, and we work within systems to ensure that children remain at the center of everything that we do and that everybody who has anything to do with a child is also thinking about. So how that manifests in our day-to-day -day is what we call a primary caregiver model. And that means that each individual staff person takes responsibility for an individual child, family, or student. And in their day-to-day -day interactions, they notice the things that make them curious. They notice the things that bring them joy. They notice the things that may stress them out. And then they adapt their program and their interactions to ensure that we're sort of optimizing the learning opportunities for those individuals in our program delivery. With that model and with the underpinning theoretical framework that we root our service delivery in, the staff that are able to really see the um, development of the learner, uh, whether that's a child or an adult, and feel a sense of progress, of outcome, of making a difference, which in turn gives them a great sense of professional accomplishment. So when that one-on-one -on -one interaction, deepening understanding of what it is that makes a child or an, a family or a student click in terms of their learning. It brings great reward to our educators, to our staff, in terms of their sense of accomplishment and achieving their professional goals to really make a difference, to have impact in an individual's life and in their learning and growth. And when I have the opportunity to be with our whole team in a room, talking about why attachment matters, why relationships matter, and how they all contribute to the development of the, the little people we're charged with serving. It is really quite uh, a magical moment. And it gives me energy and inspiration to keep doing what I do to affect the systems change that we know is also necessary to achieve these goals. So theory to practice, 
Not boring at all. In fact, I would argue it's foundational, fundamental, strategic, inspirational, and necessary.